Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, another fun-filled week, another event-filled week. Tons to get to in the news. I have to my right, Big Banks. And you know me as Shroobs. Let's roll. Gonna go to the place that's the best. Next story comes to us from the state of Pennsylvania, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Uh, this involves the state legislature there uh, in Pennsylvania. Uh, we have Stephanie Ber uh, Berkowitz, who is uh, a member of the uh, House of Delegates or the House of Repres the the state house. Uh, she was given an invocation. Uh, she is a Republican, and mm -hmm. she she gave what many would rightfully see as a very uh, God laden, religious sort of overtly religious speech during the invocation. And uh, here here's a little clip of that. God forgive us, Jesus. We've lost sight of you. We've forgotten you, God, in our country. And we're asking you to forgive us, Jesus. God, I pray for our leader, Speaker Terzai, Leader Cutler, Governor Wolf, President Trump, that we're blessed because we stand by Israel and we ask for the peace of Jerusalem as your word says, God. We ask that we not be overcome by evil and that we overcome evil with good in this land once again. Apparently this is about a minute and a half mentioned the name of Jesus Almighty 13 times, mentioned Lord, the word Lord, six times, mm -hmm. and God six times as well. So quite a lot, uh, quite, a, quite a lot of religiosity in a 90 second uh, invocation, um, or that, that portion at least. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people saw this as offensive. This uh, The other side of the story, the other mm -hmm. side of the coin here is... A uh, Muslim female, black Muslim female by the name of uh, Movida Johnson Harrell. Mm -hmm. She was actually being sworn in on the same day, mm -hmm. uh, right after that invocation was delivered. Mm -hmm. A lot of people saw this as offensive. A lot of people saw this as over the top and in your face. And she herself, uh, represent, uh, state representative mm -hmm. Harrell, saw that as kind of a direct uh, attack on her. In length, as you watched before you were sworn in, what were you thinking? Well, initially, I wasn't bothered by it because I have friends and family um, from different religious backgrounds, and I'm used to going to church and I go to synagogue. And initially, I did not really know that it was a problem until it continued. And then I became very disheartened and very, I felt very disrespected. And her, her belief system. So I don't know. Was it just a, uh, was it this intentional? Was this pushing boundaries? Was this trying to push buttons? Or just a major kind of oversight or none of the above? Was this completely appropriate? Big Banks, what is your, uh, what's your take on this? My take is if somebody wants to say Jesus with 90 minutes, if they have the floor, they can say it. They, this is what they believe in. God bless them. Um, there was no personal attack against Ms. Harrell Johnson, uh, Johnson Harrell. Uh, she did not mention her name. She didn't point to it. She didn't gesture to it. She just spoke the message of God the way she felt was in her heart. Now, if Miss Johnson Harrell took offense to it, that's a personal thing. Um, when she has the floor, she can do what she want to do. Um, but nobody should tell somebody how to pray or say that saying Jesus 13 times or the Lord six times is too much. Um, you should, you should there are other religious leaders who, mm -hmm. who come in and give their own um, either sermons or invocations or other, mm -hmm. uh, other religious addresses, imams, uh, clerics, mm -hmm. um, rabbis, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So um, if equal time, if you want to use the, mm -hmm. uh, the, the public sphere mm -hmm. to do your prayer, that's your, that's your prerogative. So it, you're right, it was uh, Berwitz's, uh, Berwitz's time, mm -hmm. and maybe it could be argued that it's better, perhaps, to clamp down or to kind of minimize the religiosity in, in one way or another. But See, this, this is where we disagree, okay? Mm -hmm. um, freedom of speech is a freedom of speech. And regardless of the form that you use, as long as it's not hurting somebody, it's taking somebody's liberty or property or life away from them, you can speak how you want to speak. Now, again, words, as they say, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words never hurt me. Uh, and and Miss Harrell Johnson, the Johnson Harrell, which way she flipped her name, I'm sorry, it's only words. Now, if it was that bad, um, make sure you have the floor to make sure or go to her or have a conversation. I don't think any of that was actually... Um, it, was it was two people it, kind it, of talking on separate like, planes yeah, and so, in, in two different worlds. Right? So... It's better to come together than throw jabs at each other on the news. And I think they just use that as a pawn just to show 
a bigger situation saying because you know Miss Harrell was talking about white supremacy and all this other stuff that she was going at. Here was here was Miss uh, Johnson Harrell's take when she was interviewed on CNN, and uh, she she started off pretty rational and reasonable, and then she seems to have gone to the radical anti-Trump, radical left wing uh, extreme. There, here's here's her take uh, when she was interviewed about this conundrum. In other words, I'm not one who normally believes in coincidence. Did you think, hey, it's my day to be sworn in as the first Muslim female in the history of the Commonwealth of all days? Why this particular prayer? Or did you think that it, it, it just happened so? Absolutely, Michael. It did not just happen. It was intentional. It was deliberate and it was planned. Have you thought through the consequences if you similarly had stood in that position uh, reciting from the Quran? I would have been condemned by the speaker and by the right. Um, I think it was intentionally made to me, made to make me feel like I was not included in that space. But the people of the 190th legislative district invited me to be included in that space. And my presence, I knew would draw attention and would draw some criticism, um, especially with the pandering of white supremacy, um, masked by white nationalism coming out of the white house. I knew that I would have to, um, engage in these conversations. I just did not know that members of the house would intentionally attempt to harm me and my family on the day that I was being sworn in. So I don't know if I can, she started off well, but mm. she might've gone a little to the, in, invoking the whole idea of white supremacy dominating mm. the white house and this kind of a, a new era, a new ugly era mm. in American politics, heard it, been there, done that. It's, uh, it's that's getting to be a little redundant mm. and a little, that's old hat right now. So mm. enough of that, uh, but big banks, 13 times naming Jesus, 13 times in a quick 90-second uh, uh, invocation to open up a uh, congressional session. Is it you know, not a little too much? It, let me say this. Again, I disagree because in my house, my mother used Jesus and the Lord probably more than 13 times in five minutes when dealing with three boys. I mean, again, the way you believe in your religious faith is your faith. And the way you want to express this is the way you, you, know, you want to express it. If I'm on the street corner and somebody walks by and they was offended, do they have the right to call the police? No. Correct. correct. So, I mean, but again. It's, it's true, but it's the people's house. It's the, it's the taxpayer's house. It's the people of Pennsylvania. Okay, but it's their, even, it's their body even, of uh, government. It's their. Even the people in the house is still their house, too, as well. Correct. They pay taxes to even run that house. I can see the idea of inclusivity. I can, mm -hmm. I can see that, and I can kind of see where Johnson Harrell is coming from. So, mm -hmm. um, But you know what? She... I, I think you're right. I think she's a little misguided when she is the one throwing herself into the mix and thinking that was directed mm -hmm. towards her. That's a little that's a little too far as well. Yeah. So, um, nevertheless, the other story there is this whole like notion of Islamophobia. Mm -hmm. This is not a real concept. Islamophobia is a fake term exactly. designed to uh, to clamp down on any people who, who express disagreements with the archaic right. uh, practices right. of right. certain right. elements of of Islam. Mm -hmm. So, uh, whenever you hear Islamophobia uh, as a as a code word or as a uh, as a kind of uh, flavor of the what flavor of the month. Dog whistle for hate. A dog whistle for hate and, and Islamophobia. I don't know. I don't see it. There are people out there mm. who don't like Islam and don't like Muslims, but this whole notion that uh, there's this deep seated Islamophobia in American society. Nope doesn't exist. We'll follow that story if there are any more developments. But thank you, folks, for tuning in again. Please mm. like, subscribe. Uh, and view all of our clips. We are up to about 70 videos by now, so yeah. we're rolling along, all done in 2019. So thanks again, folks, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Big bangs. Stroobs. Peace.